Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, July 14, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you will hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our news videos. And we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. So big movements today. And uh, the main reason, US dollar appreciated significantly. And that had major effects on, on most of these currency pairs that we're going to look at. So you... Uh, British pound US dollar fell 0.61% and is currently just at the 200 moving average. Break below here and the previous lows here, that could open the door all the way down to the 300 moving average. And that's roughly a drop of 1.89% to the downside. So it is going to be a question whether or not we bounce from here or we continue. US dollar has a broken major resistance and therefore... We could expect this to be that to put basically um, downward momentum for this currency pair. If you look at the, the bullish band, we just uh, we have a little bit of movement of space until we hit the bottom of the bullish band. That is also the previous lows there, and then we we'll probably bounce uh, after that. Otherwise, technical indicators are turning around. You can see the MACD is still bullish, but it is turning around here. The MACD uh, RSI is bearish, the CCI is uh, basically flat, and the uh, stochastic is becoming significantly bearish at this point as well. So 200 moving average, that's going to be the question. If we break that, then we could drop significantly lower. So US dollar, Japanese yen, this has rallied from the 100 moving average and is continuing to rally all the way up towards this upper trend line. And if we manage to break uh, uh, above it and stay above it, then we could be heading back towards 112. You can see that this is right at the middle of the bullish band, and we need to break above that in order to get to towards 111.5. You can see that MACD is uh, turning around here, it's still bearish. The RSI is bullish, and CCI is still bearish, and the stochastic is bullish. So momentum is changing to the upside. If we were to fall from here, and then the 40, 50, and 100 moving average will uh, most likely offer massive uh, support so let's look at the euro us dollar and this has fallen like a rock today so minus 0 0.77 percent we have broken this uh, previous lows here and there is absolutely no nearly no pullback at the end of the, the session and that is not a really good sign for this currency bear we may see may see this uh, rally up towards half before breakdown again uh, 20 exponential is offering massive resistance. We got up to this point, broke down, up to this point, it broke down. And uh, at this point, 1170 is kind of what we are looking at. It's basically the previous lows here where we hit the 300 moving average back in uh, late March this year. After that, we are targeting these previous lows here from uh, October, November last year down at 1160. So that is kind of where. It looks like where we're heading to. MACD is bearish, the RSI is bearish, CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is about to cross the bullish band. Uh, no, the signal line at this current stage is also becoming bearish. So let's look at Aussie dollar, U, US dollar, and this has also fallen 0.67%. Um, we are basically at the bottom of the bullish band, so we are bouncing a little bit off that. The MACD is bearish, RSI is bearish, CCI is also bearish, and stochastic is also turning around significantly. If we break these uh, previous lows here, we could see this drop significantly towards these lower levels here, back all the way back from October, September, November last year, and that is around 0.69 or around 0.71 in that area of... Uh, of um, around that area so that's a massive drop we are also going to have a crossing here of the 20 exponential and uh, the 300 moving average and uh, it is looking like we are just going to go lower and lower every time this tries to rally up towards the 20 exponential it breaks down you can see it here same goes for here and then we'll just go lower and lower that seems to be the way that we are going at this point us dollar continues to appreciate and that of course works against this so us dollar canadian dollar this has completely turned around but still it is bouncing in between the 150 and the 200 moving average we did test the 200 moving average did not manage to break above that but at this current stage 
it just seems like a matter of time before we break above the 100, 200 moving average and head towards the 300. And that's a rally of roughly 1.78% to the upside. Mm. Kind of looks like we are about to change direction in this currency pair. But it probably will take a few uh, days, probably also weeks, in order for the 50 moving average in order to cross the 200 moving average. And when that occurs, then we'll probably uh, more uh, come to the conclusion that this is a possible trend change. We have been falling since we fell all the way from this was uh, back in this was back in March last year. It fell all the way down toward roughly 17.89%. And now we're seeing quite a big rally at this point. But a break, a break down from here will mostly be fine. Uh, support at the 20, 140 and the 50 moving average, especially 50 down at 1224. If you look at the bullish band, we are approaching the top of the bullish band. So we could see a, a pullback before going higher. MACD is still bullish, the RSI is bullish, CCI is bullish, and Stochastic is still bearish, but it is turning around here, becoming bullish. So, I'll be fine. So, if you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. Good luck and thank you very much.